Hey everybody, this is Geneva of Geneva's Closet Talk Show. Please make sure you like and share this video and subscribe to Geneva's Closet if you haven't already done so right here on YouTube. And you can follow me on Facebook at what? At Geneva's Closet. And you can email me at Geneva's Closet 22 at gmail.com. Now, let's get into the news. This is coming from Public Opinion Online and it says, a father and daughter are accused of drugging and raping two girls in a Chambersburg hotel room last month. Alonzo Craig, 45, and Alani Craig, 18, both of St. Thomas, are in Franklin County Jail on a $500,000 bail and a $100,000 bail. Both are charged with two counts of involuntary sexual intercourse, forcible compulsion, one count of incest, and two counts of possession with intent to distribute all felonies. In addition, he is charged with rape by forcible compulsion, and she is charged with conspiracy to commit rape. The incident happened over more than six hours the late afternoon and evening on July 14th, Chambersburg police wrote in charging documents. Police learned about it after responding at about 10.45 p.m. to Chambersburg Hotel, where one of the girls, 17, was being treated for sexual assault. She said she and a friend, age not listed in court documents, went to a room at Motel 6 at 1095 Wayne Avenue to meet with a person they knew as Coon or Bud. Police determined this person to be Alonzo Craig. Also, there was Alani Craig, whom police determined is Alonzo's biological daughter. For more than six hours that afternoon and evening, the Craigs provided the girls with MDMA, marijuana, and alcohol, specifically Hennessy, and sexually assaulted them, documents state. The Craigs pushed the girls onto the bed and began tearing off their clothes, documents state. The girls described the Craigs forcing them into oral and penetrative sex. One girl said both of the suspects used a toy to sexually assault her. At one point, Alani Craig performed oral sex on Alonzo Craig before he had intercourse with one of the girls. What the... Okay, one of the girls described Alonzo Craig putting two rocks of MDMA in her mouth and she says she vomited multiple times due to intoxication. The preliminary hearings for Alonzo and Alani Craig are scheduled for 8-15, August 13th before District Judge Glenn Maines in Franklin County Central Court. Wow, just when I thought I heard it all, then I come across this case. And it's not that we've never heard of incest before because it's a word. So, of course, we've heard of it before. We know that family members sleep with their sisters, brothers, cousins, mamas, daddy. We know this. But, you know, I don't know. And then it says at one point, Alani Craig, the daughter, performed oral sex on the Alonzo Craig, the father, before he had intercourse with one of the girls. But you know what this story tells me? This story tells me that obviously this isn't the first time, the sixth time, or the tenth time that this has happened between Alonzo and his daughter, Alani. Uh, obviously, Alonzo has been molesting his daughter ever since she was a little child. That's what this is. And she's been manipulated into some stuff. They done for a whole nother type of relationship and I know that she has to know in her mind that this is wrong so I don't know if there is a bit of control there that he's controlling her or if she's just been been manipulated so well that she's not realizing that what she's doing is totally wrong and I don't even know if I want to say that because she's what 19 years old she's old enough to know right from wrong even if you have been manipulated into some stuff but Alonzo is just a nasty man a nasty man to even do that to his daughter in the first place. I don't have to read an article or read a backstory to know that the this is what has happened to this girl. And what is her mama? Do the mama know these things going on? Is she still alive? How does she feel about the relationship? Or did she used to be a part of it? Was she like the third family rape duo? You know, rape team. 
whatever people. Anyway, I would love to know how you feel about this situation because I really don't even know what to say right now. But while you're telling me how you feel, could you please like and share this video and subscribe to Geneva's Closet if you haven't already done so right here on YouTube. And you can follow me on Facebook at what? At Geneva's Closet. And you can email me at Geneva's Closet 22 at gmail.com. You all have a fabulous day and I will talk to you later. Bye. Bye. <laughs>